Hey guys, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the Sin City effect. Makes everything all gray except red. You can still see the red, it's pretty cool. I already have everything set up. I tried to make this, this tutorial. Didn't quite work because my mom walked in and started talking. And I was almost done with it, so yeah, I'm sorry. So just open up some Vegas. Ignore that. So you open some Vegas. Go project media. You put your media. I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna the part that I wanted that. So I'll go. Where is that? I'll just go like that. I don't care anymore. And then go to where you want to end it at. And right there. I'm just gonna do like that. Making two two tutorials today. So. You guys will see two tutorials. Alright, so now I'm just gonna set all my presets in to my quality. I don't know if I should even do that. It's a basic time, I don't care. And you got your video there, your views, I guess. Now you're gonna go to, you're gonna find the blood area, or redness area that you can use. So I'm gonna use this blood right here, not that, this blood. Then you're gonna go to color correct or secondary. I tried to do this tutorial, I learned it off YouTube, of course. I was trying it, it wouldn't work, because I had color corrector. Go to color corrector secondary. You have it has to be secondary. You're gonna drag in reset to none to your clip. You're gonna click on this little paint drop thing, I don't know what it is. Click on that, go over to your screen and click on the blood area, the redness that you want. You know, you don't want to change anything except down here. You're gonna go to invert mask, go down a little bit. Um, right here, you're going to go down to all the way low, high, all the way up to the top. Also for the limit saturation, all the way down, high, all the way on the top. And you're going to go up to up here, and saturation, all the way down. So now you can see this, it changed the sensitivity effect, but it's not that great. You're going to find center. What center does is, you're just going to find the brightness the brightest red that you can, I usually use right here. I'm gonna find the brightest red, I think I found it. Just mess around with it. Yeah, I found it. Um, remember to save it as a preset, so it's easier. Mine's called Sin City Effect. Also drag in new quality thing too, I'll tell you that later. So now you have that, it's, it's alright, and it's pretty good for doing that. But to make it better, I had this thing for Afro Ninja's quality settings. I was going to use it, but I don't have After Effects, so it wouldn't make it good. I'm going to drag that in. It's up here. It's, it got brighter, the red did. I'll show you. It got brighter. I like it brighter like that. I don't know if this is going to help you guys so you guys can make it. I have no idea. I'm going to leave that there for a second. And then that. I mean, you can, it's pretty good, it's not the best, so you can see, it's pretty red, it's pretty laggy though, but it works. Okay, now this is the other, the other tutorial. My friend has had trouble, he's, he's got all his montage all pretty much ready and stuff, and he has all this, all these clips together like this. And say he wants to drag in something in between these two, he has to go and move split clip by clip, and that takes him just forever. So uh, today I'm going to show you how you don't have to do that. It's pretty funny, but I'm just going to split some clips in here for you guys. All right, so let me put that away. Say you had all of this over here.
Hey, sorry, I my mom came in the bedroom and gave me my phone. Say that you had all this over here and you wanted to put, say, like this clip or something, all the way between them. You don't have to move every single one all the way to the right just to get one little super clip in. What you're going to do is you're going to hold shift, go to the end right here, and just drag all the way to the end of the clip. And then that should highlight this all blue. And then you're going to go to the first one and move it. So it just moves that part. So if you have this part, like, I'm just going to split bigger so you can see. You can delete that. Shift right here. Go all the way over here. Then you're just going to drag and move. Moves all the clips. So you don't have to go one by one going like this. Takes forever just to put in something stupid like that. Um, this was a request from another friend. His name is NWS Monster. He's Beast. Um, if you want to learn how to do that, he kind of taught me the twitch effect, so that's pretty cool. I might make a tutorial for that. I haven't even done it yet, but I'm going to learn how to do it. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps, and good luck with your sensitivity effect and moving your clips to the right, and have fun. Peace out, guys.